I'm Nick Pettit. I'm Jason Seifer. And you're watching The Treehouse Show, your weekly dose of internets where we talk about all things web design, web development, and more. In this episode, we'll be talking about icons, cheat sheets, fonts, and more. Let's check it out. First up is an icon set called Icono, Icono? I can't know. I, I, I don't, I can't know. Oh, I see. Oh, no. I co, yes. I can know. OK. Well, anyway, it's pure CSS icons with only one element. So each one of these things you see here. I can't believe it. Is the element surprise? Get it? I, I got it. So. All of these elements here, or all of these icons here, are comprised of one element. And they're just styled with CSS. So that's pretty amazing. And if you want to use it in your website, you can just download icono.min.css and then link it into your web page. And then you can go ahead and use these. You can also check out the GitHub repo. And if you want to watch that and see, I don't know, what new icons come out in this icon set, or don't. I mean, it's, it's up to you. Yeah, I'm we're not, not the boss of you. We just, we just politely suggest links. It's uh, up to you if you want to go to them. I'm not here to judge. Yeah, we support your decision either way. Uh, but those icons are on GitHub. And next up is a great segue into a GitHub cheat sheet. And you can also find this cheat sheet where else? On, on GitHub. GitHub. Yeah. Ah. I know. You were expecting me to say CNN.com. Nope. Anyway, this is a wonderfully cool collection of hidden and not so hidden features of Git and GitHub. Now, a lot of these start with things that you can add to the URL of something, and you can do things like ignore white space. So if you add a question mark and W equals 1 to any diff, the URL will remove any changes only in white space, which lets you just see the code that has changed. You can also do fun things like adjust the spacing of tabs from four spaces to two spaces to eight, you know, whatever, whatever your little heart desires you can do. More URL tricks, you can see the commit history by author. Just put author in the query string. And we're not going to get too far into this because there are an absolute ton of different items on here because this is a very impressive cheat sheet. But we will have a link in the show notes, which you can check out right below this video. Very nice stuff. Well, next up is the challenge for web designers in 2015, parentheses, or how to cheat at the future. That's the title of this blog post. And it's basically about how this person thinks we're at an inflection point very similar to Ajax. So when Ajax first came around, it was all new and different. And now Ajax is everywhere. So if you kind of look around at the technology available to us now, particularly in phones, a phone can do all of these things. And in fact, a laptop can do many of these things as well. So you can capture the screen. The phone could listen or record video and audio, can respond to ambient light, it can vibrate, you can work offline, you could use the camera, all sorts of stuff. And basically, looking a couple years into the future, kind of based on what we've seen in the App Store and the Android stores, you can kind of look into the future and look at these design patterns and get a sense of where the web might be going in a couple of years. So the challenge is not to just wait around and do this, but instead of waiting five years, just try to work at some of these things right now and kind of, I guess, design what is lacking. That's what they say in the article. The future is today. Only if you make it today. Yesterday already happened. That's always true. Next up, we have a collection of essential JavaScript links. This is a wonderfully large collection of, you guessed it, links about JavaScript. Now, this is opinionated, and the author also would like to say that, hey, uh, it has no bearing on whether or not the links make the list. Some of them are affiliate links, so that's just a little 
little uh, disclaimer that we have up front uh, and also not, not in cahoots with the Treehouse Show. Anyway, there are a lot of great reading materials if you are looking to learn JavaScript. There is great reading, learn JavaScript essentials. This is for all skill levels. There is required viewing. This is a small collection of different videos about JavaScript and how to do great coding. Uh, interesting things like Immutable Data and React.js, which is a really cool library that we haven't gone too far into. Uh, even links to the different specs and the ECMAScript script draft. Uh, there's a collection of books and different tools and libraries, just a ton of different things. So if you're looking to get a little bit further into JavaScript coding, this is a great list to start with. Very nice stuff. Well, next up is FontPair. This is a website that helps you pair Google Fonts together. So if I just scroll down the page here, you can see, oh, OK, so the heading is this font, and then the body is just average. Oh, that's the name of the font. OK. And here we have Ice Talk Web, and then the body's Laura. And here the heading is Lato and Merriweather. It's pretty cool. These fonts actually look really nice together. And so if you're pairing Papyrus and Comic Sans together, then maybe this is the website for you. If this, I this is a nice website. I would like it to also suggest like maybe cheese and and burger pairings. You know, get a little burger menu on here. Yeah. That, Sounds delicious. That would that would be a nice website. I'd we should like, make that. I, you want to make that? You want to make a website together? Uh, yeah, maybe. Go on a weird website journey? I like websites. I like websites. If you click here, you can say maybe you want a cursive font and then a serif font, but you're not quite sure which ones of those will look good together. Well, you can click on that. And here we have some cursive fonts, and then we have some serif fonts. So. Pretty cool. Uh, it's very helpful if you just need to pick some fonts real quick and you have maybe one font that you like, but you're not sure what font might go with it. So pretty cool, pretty helpful. Yeah, I'm really hungry now. Yeah, for hamburgers. Mm -hmm. Anyway, that's all we have time for this week. Nick, who are you on Twitter? I am at Nick RP. And I am at Jay Cipher. For more information on anything we talked about, check out the show notes right below this video. We want to thank everybody for watching, and we'll talk to you next week. See you later.